course, just being a woman won't get you a scholarship. Scholarships for women come with all kinds of criteria, such as academic performance, sporting achievement, leadership skills, or affiliation to a particular culture or community. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I know how hard it is to find scholarships, so I decided that I would make a video to help you out. Today, the scholarships that we have are particularly just for women, and they cover the um, scholarship period between 2023 and 2024. So stick around and you might just find what you were looking for. We go any further i'd like to thank you guys for the great reception that i got on my last video you can check that video out after this one it was um a video for fully funded scholarships for 2023 and 2024 and um it was uh for basically everyone not just for women so i just want to say thank you so much for that support it really is encouraging and if you haven't seen that go check it out and if you haven't subscribed make sure that you do it helps me out in terms of if i see a great reception it also encourages me to make more video so enough of that let's get into the scholarships first up we have the margaret mcnamara grants which draw inspiration from Margaret McNamara and her vision of education and gender equality. The organization supports women from developing countries in the pursuit of higher education. There are three programs in which one can apply. There's a South Africa program, the US Canada program, and the Trinity Washington um, University program. But for the sake of time and progress, I will focus on the South Africa progress. However, I will leave the links for the rest of the programs so that you can go and check them out yourself. In terms of eligibility, you, mal you must be a self-identifying woman. You must be at least 25 years old at the time of application and be a national of a country listed on the MMMEG country eligibility list. So here's the list of the countries that can apply for the MMEG um, fellowship. As you can see, it is a long list. So maybe you can pause the video to look for your own country. Continuing on on eligibility, you need to be qualifying for a certificate, an undergrad or graduate um, degree and you have to be registered not just accepted at an accredited academic institution when uh, when submitting your application so for south africans this um, is open to all the universities in south africa you just have to um, submit your application and uh, the documents that are required To apply, you need your ID with your photo and your birth date. You need your most recent proof of official registration from a university, not ex an acceptance letter. You need your official university transcripts or a report. And um, you need to write a paragraph describing your personal history and how your studies, experiences and future plans are linked to your commitment to women um, and children in developing countries and uh, one must be from a faculty member from your current university and another one must be from a person uh, who can vouch for your character who is not a family member. It's also good to know that part-time students can apply for the scholarship and it does not um, cost any application fees. And the most important part is the application deadline. 
For the South Africa program, applications are accepted from 15 May until September 14 each year. So make sure you take um, be mindful of these dates. And then for the Latin America program, uh, applications are accepted from June 1 until September 30 of each year. I have po um, pasted the link for the fellowship program. And since you are still here, don't forget to subscribe and, uh, to the channel and like the video. If you've ever been interested in studying in Australia, well then, this next one is for you. This is the University of Melbourne 2023 Dean Scholarship for Women in Management. The scholarship is designed to attract top women to a prestigious MBA program. It is open to all females from all countries and the application deadline is January 30th of 2023. I have pasted the link for the application on the bottom of the slide. You just need to copy that and it will take you straight to the application page. Here you can read more about the eligibility criteria and the documents that are required for you to apply. It is worth 50,000 Australian dollars, which go toward your tuition fee for your Masters of Business Administration in the University of Melbourne. And unlike the other scholarships that I've mentioned on this video, it is a partial scholarship. But I thought I should include it because it seemed like a great opportunity, especially in a field where women are underrepresented. Next up, we have a scholarship for study in the USA, and it is brought to you by the American Association of University Women. This scholarship is support for women pursuing full-time graduate or postdoctoral study in the U.S., who are not U.S. citizens or permanent residents. Preference is given to women who have shown prior commitment to the advancement of women and girls through civic, community, or professional work. And as I've said before, it is um, for postgraduate study, so you should already hold an academic degree, which should, or it could, should be completed by the 1st of uh, November 2023. So this is the list for all the countries that can apply. You just have to go through the list and find your home country. The financial award is as follows. For a master's or first professional degree, it is 18,000. Then you would get $20,000 for a doctoral degree or $30,000 for a postdoctoral degree. In addition to your educational expenses, it will cover your living expenses and if you have a child that um, you are bringing with you to the US it will it will cover your dependent child care and also give you money for travel to professional meetings conferences or uh, seminars the application deadline is Tuesday the 1st of November 2022 and as usual I have the application website at the bottom of the slide so all you need to do is just copy that, paste it, and uh, look for more information on uh, this fellowship program. With all of that, thank you so much for um, watching to this point, and um, I wish you all the best with your application, and don't forget to subscribe to my